In 1989, the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species banned the trade of elephant ivory. But buying and selling mammoth ivory dagger from the Siberian permafrost is still legal. This poses challenge for those looking up to keep this endangered gentleman giants safe. The Worldwide Fund for Nature estimates that elephant populations have plunged from 12 million a century ago to around 400,000. The African continent has been particularly vulnerable to poaching, losing 20,000 elephants each year, according to WWFP. From 1990 to 2024, Kenya seized more than 130,000 kilograms of ivory, the highest total worldwide over the period. China followed with more than 106,000 kilograms. Vietnam, Singapore, Mozambique and Nigeria round up the list. Smugglers often sidestep the ban on trading elephant ivory by slipping it into shipments of similar-looking mammoth ivories. A shipment comes in of absolutely legal mammoth ivory, labelled as such, and the customs let it through. But within that, you can mix elephant ivory, which they don't look that similar, but you can make them look similar. And especially if you're not an expert who's, you know, obviously law enforcement are not trained in that to distinguish different types of ivory. China is ivory's main market, but Beijing has been scaling up efforts to stop illegal tasks from entering the country. The custom officials can now use science to separate out elephant ivory from its Siberian counterparts, thanks to a method developed from Hong Kong University. So we had about 40 samples of each ivory from 40 samples of elephants and elephant ivory that were seized by um, by the customs here in Hong Kong, and we had various samples of mammoth ivory, completely legal. Some of it came from Siberian carvers, some of it were bought in China, some of it were bought in Hong Kong, it's completely legal. And we tested them all for the isotopic signatures of five elements. And then we could see that th those signatures are very, very different for two. Conservationists hope the cheap and quick high-tech analysis will be used in more countries and become a global game-changer in the fight against the illegal ivory trade. Brenda Radido, TRT World.